All right, hey guys, welcome in. Today we got a Mexican folk art picture that we are doing a moon and a sun. We'll start off with some simple shapes and ideas on the page here, and then kind of show you different options that I have for this. We'll talk about the history and how the significance of Mex Mexican culture uh, relates to this picture and to the background and ties in all the different patterns and shapes and colors and ideas. Gonna do a circle on here, probably about the size of your fist or a little bit bigger. That'll be our start. So right in the middle, I kind of do a half circle for my little circle hack of drawing circles. I start out lightly and then I kind of finish it on the other side over here and then once I got a good idea I can kind of trace around it erase some of those extra lines so it doesn't get in our way and then we're going to do a half moon half sun this is very similar to my Picasso face mm -hmm. and it draws some kind of connections to Pablo Picasso of course the great Spanish painter himself um so I think he was inspired by a lot of his works with simplified uh, symbols and colors in his but this one a little bit different so Start with almost kind of the moon shape and then it'll kind of go down it'll have a little wiggle one two and then I'll kind of go out to finish the moon on this side. So I guess I'm thinking on this side, the moon, kind of crescent moon on that side. And then we'll kind of split it up with the faces. So the moon is, since it's at night, will be sleeping. So I'm going to put a little arch line down there with some eyelashes if you want to add. On this side, we want a nice kind of football shape for the eye over here. That one's gonna be nice and wide open. You can put a circle in the middle. I usually do my eyes a little bit more towards the top with just barely touching at the bottom. You can put a little circle inside that circle. If you wanna put some eyelashes, you are welcome to do that. It is your choice. Sometimes they look a little bit more girl or kind of feminine with eyelashes. My boys, we, do, we have eyelashes as well, but that's your choice if you want to or not. And this kind of part is kind of the nose-ish part um you don't have to put anything but you definitely could put some nostrils on there if you wanted and i will kind of do a little squiggle on this side where it kind of goes up and then down now now you can kind of see the moon on that and then for the mouth i'll do the same thing it'll kind of go up and then down okay totally up to you if you want to put lips on it on either side or um, a brighter color that is up to you i'm going to just start out simple and then you can take it to whatever design that you want speaking of those designs the sun is going to be on this side the moon is going to be on that side uh this was traditionally done mexican yes. folk art they would do it in clay sometimes sometimes in bright colored paintings uh simple symbols uh that would get the message across um so what i'm trying to do with the sun side is to get you thinking that it's a sun because it really doesn't look like a sun too much now so i want to get some of those lines that kind of go up and down up and All down the way around here if you want to put those like you know like with a little bit of curve i've seen that. before that is up to you and your ability nice i like the way that looks and then for the moon side i'm gonna kind of follow this line around here and give it almost like a little frame I'm going to do that lightly again because I'm getting a little bit nervous. Then again, I'm going to try to fill up my background, try to make it personalized a little bit with some of those lines, shapes, and good patterns um, to extend all the way out there. So I'll go through that a little bit faster. Definitely happy with that. Now I'm gonna go over it, not with Sharpie, but I'm gonna actually use my Expo marker. Those are a good substitute for Sharpie sometimes and a little bit cheaper for my classroom. I'm gonna go over that quick and then still be thinking about what kind of designs and ideas that I can put inside some of those empty spaces um, as I look for some inspiration and ideas. So let's go through that real quick. Good. I just noticed I forgot to color in my little circle in here. I'll add that extra little piece right there. So now it looks fantastic. See what I'm thinking. Let's make a little magic happen. I brought out one of my old Picasso faces, some of those connections to those pieces. So let's make a little magic happen right in the lips. 
just like that. Bam. I got my sun and my moon, kind of all the little different zentagonal, almost all the different patterns and shapes, which again was celebrating kind of true to like Mexican folk art with all the different simplified shapes and patterns and almost like that spiritualness from the night side to the sun and the light and the dark. Really does stand out in this and I use my uh, temper cakes for this with a paintbrush to try to really get those bright colors, but you could definitely use markers, crayons, color pencils, anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and yours turned out awesome. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.